Hey guys, today I'm playing uh, some more This War of Mine. And last time we raided, I think it was the semi-detached house, and we got quite a decent stack of stuff. You know, no real big stacks of anything, but you know, quite a, a decent hodgepodge of different things. I wish we had gotten some more medicine, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do about uh, our little herbalist garden or whatever today. Otherwise, I'm just going to try and power through some of their needs. Okay, Zelta. How can we steal from others? They have a hard time to survive as well. Yeah. Ain't that the truth. Okay. Day 33, part of Bruno's story. So, they've gotten a bit of bio again, which is nice. It was too late. The siege was on. And we were already cut off. All rides to my town were cancelled. And it was too late to do anything for my friend anyway. I should have thought about that before I lulled her into a false sense of security. I don't know what happened to her. Most likely, I'll never learn. But I feel the worst. So, you know, he does have a little bit of sympathy. Um, but he's a bit weird. Normally he's... I think it was Bruno who's normally... All about the survival. Okay, what does Anton have to say? Supplies are hard to come by. If Pavel hadn't stolen those goods, we'd be even in an even worse situation now. Yeah, that's true. And then Pavel is not really feeling anything, but he's very tired. So let's get him in bed. And let's see if we can get Bruno cooking some food at least. And I think the traps are still going. Anton, seeing as you're up. I know you're tired. Oh no, shit, Anton. Anton, Anton, fuck. Misclicked. Anton, I want you up here. I want to see what she is. She's just hungry. So actually, Anton, you can come sleep. You know? And the only hungry person can just get out of the fucking bed. Okay, let's have a look. Do we have enough food just for one so long? Yeah, we can make one food so long. Actually, yeah, I should be able to make two so long. Should I wait for the water and make all three? Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Let's just wait for the water. So let's have him actually go up here. And we'll have Zelta come and have a look. See if she can make us anything. Anything interesting. Anything we don't have or that we actually need. Okay, we might need a couple of filters. So let's do that. You know, I've got to keep my water up now. I've got to keep my food up. Maybe I should make another trap. Okay, and there's someone at the door. So, once Bruno or Zelta are done with doing what they need to do, one of them can go to the door. Ah, uh, it's the trader. Okay, wait. Actually, fuck that. Let's just go straight to the trader. Yeah, Bruno, that's why we're gathering water. Oh, fuck me. Did I misclick? I'm like the king of fucking misclicks. Especially in this game. Hello. How are you? Sell me your things. I want that. See, so it's really good that I hadn't started the food yet. Because now I have one extra food. Yay. Okay. So, let's see. What else am I low on that I could actually do with very badly? Don't you want some snow? Delicious snow that I now can't do anything with because, fucking, like, apparently we can't melt snow in summer. What the shit game. Um. See, weapon parts, I want to keep that. In case we decide we need another saw blade. Hmm. I kind of just want to go, give me all your food. Or give me all your materials. But I don't know what I can give him in trade for that stuff. So let's give him the tobacco. Fuck that. We'll give him all these cigarettes. We'll give him the coffee. We'll give him these cigarettes. And Bruno can just suffer for a while. Fuck. I feel bad for Bruno, but... Yeah. That's just the way it's going to be today, Bruno. Okay, so I can't even get one food. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a whole lot of wood. Or fuck all wood. 
Okay. Some components? Nope. So all these commodities are now worth bullshit. That won't do. Actually, I want to test something out. What happens if I go and I want to trade tobacco for tobacco? So, as you can see, <sighs> these traders are fucking bullshit. God damn it. Sons of bitches. Okay. So let's go. One bandage. I want food and I want a whole lot of wood. That won't do. What if I give you a cigarette? That won't do. What if I give you a nicer cigarette? Nope. Okay. But I kind of feel maybe we shouldn't be trading bandages for just one food. So let's go and go two food for the bandages. And I really doubt we can go, yeah, medicine. So let's try and fill the rest up. Wood. Okay. So that's what we can get for a bandage and tobacco. We can get a bit more food, which is what we're really after. So let's let's do that deal, which I may regret. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to get rid of a lot of my luxuries. So let's see, do I have any other? Uh, I've got the book. I don't really want to get rid of the book just yet. So let's see how much wood I can get for this. I can get six, seven, seven wood. I'm going to roll with it because the wood is a bit more important to me now. Because I want to see if I can actually upgrade any of this other stuff. And I'm going to need the wood for that stuff. Okay. So now let's go and actually build that other fucking filter that I cancelled by accident. And we don't need you anymore. So please go away. Okay, thanks. Bye. Okay. Now that we have the means to make one food, let's go up there. We'll bring you down here. We'll go and we will make two meals. Nice. Make the meals. Okay, so how much wood and... We're still only on 21 wood, so I don't think we can do too much with the wood. I'm going to use the fertilizer here. Oh no, I'm short on water. Okay, so I'm still short on water for that. Okay, so who can eat? Okay. Oh, shit, I can't remember what the inventory spaces look like. I think Zelta had a decent inventory space. I'm going to have her eat. I'm going to have Bruno eat. That way Bruno is not tired and he can guard and Zelta can go out. And these other two are just going to have to... Okay, he feels well rested. So let's have him... We'll have him eat that. We'll have her play music. And we'll have him look at how much these stations cost to upgrade. Hmm. Okay, so I'm short on electrical parts. Which I've been forsaking for quite a while. So now I am regretful. You know? But I live with no regrets, so I'm going to suck that shit up and just deal with it. Where are you going, Anton? Oh, yeah, he's going to eat. Okay, how much does this cost to upgrade? Because this is going to give me more food. Oh, yeah, but I'm going to need to upgrade my main workstation first. Okay, so he's eaten, so you can come sit here and listen to the music. Maybe that'll make you feel better. Oh, yes, and let's get that second water going. How much water do I have? I need eight. Oh, I've only got seven. So close. If only I could melt that fucking snow. Okay. I think Pavel's just gonna go hungry today. Okay, Bruno, let's go have a look at the radio. We haven't checked it in a while.
It's getting cold. Okay. But we have fuel. We have one fuel, so I'm just gonna stoke that fire once. I'm using the right term terminology, right? You stoke a fire. Would you just load a fire? I don't know, whatever. We're stoking it just like moving the stuff around. The stuff. The fuel around so that it like burns better. Cigarettes and tobacco are available once more. Oh, fuck. Cigarettes and tobacco are available in program once more. How exactly this came about remains a mystery. Theories include smugglers, corrupt military officials, and foreign aid. Okay, so that's why I couldn't get anything for my luxuries, which is a bit depressing, really. Um, international community has agreed to send in peacekeeping forces to Pogorin. The operation is due to start in approximately two weeks, bringing hope to putting an end to this destructive conflict. Okay, two weeks. Fuck me. So I'm potentially here for like another 14 days. I really thought this would be a short series, but um, you know, apparently it's not. <laughs> Surprise, motherfuckers. Uh, we are happy to announce it's getting warmer. Temperatures will continue to rise in the upcoming days. This will bring some relief to the citizens of Pogren. Hell yes. Okay, cool. So... I need electrical parts, I still always need food, I need water. Okay. So you can actually eat now, so let's go and have Bruno see if we can quickly make him a meal. And then he might be ready to go out tonight. But I seriously, I'm starting to doubt it. Okay, let's have a look. Cook like you've never cooked before, except I need fuel. Damn it. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna make it. Not if he needs fuel. Okay, so food, make. And then we're gonna click immediately. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, fuck me. Click there. Did he eat? Did he not eat? Ah, oh, he's still hungry, so I don't know. Hmm. Well, you can be the first one to eat tomorrow, I guess. Man. Okay, so now we need to visit places we have never visited before. So we're going to have Zalta Scavenge. We can have Pavel God. We can have Bruno God. And we can have Anton sleep in the bed. So now we have... See now, but uh, we're going to land up with a situation again with three people attired. So maybe I should just have Bruno sleep in the bed. And... Let's try the quiet house. We're gonna have to steal, but you know, we've been stealing already. And I don't think there's anywhere else that's really a viable situation. Okay, let's have a look. Zelta, you might need a shovel. Oh man, I didn't get a lockpick. I should have made a lockpick, guys. Oh well, let's see how far we can get with just a shovel. <laughs> oh man. Can you break down? You can break down a door with a shovel. When this is over, I'm gonna buy myself a house like this. Yeah. Sounds nice. Oh, nice. Some fertilizer. That means either more meat or more veg or more herbs at this point. Water. Okay, so this place just has a lot of water lying around outside. Okay, which is not bad, it just means uh, we get a bit of extra water without needing a filter. Oh man. How do you get by these guys now? Of course, honey. It was a long time ago. We met then, remember? You were so handsome in your uniform, so many years. Oh. Uh, Man, this is going to destroy morale, stealing from old people. But I don't trust soldiers anymore. They bring nothing but trouble. How long can I wait here before, you know, they, like, move? And you shouldn't, honey. They attacked the city, I told you. Oh, man, it's an old couple. I could try and get in their basement.
You can see right through the entire house. This, I bet you the second I open this fucking door, he's going to see me. Fuck it, let's see what happens. Hello. Can I talk to you? Are you going to trade? Are you going to do anything? Shit. What do I do now? Maybe I'll just run to the back of his house. I wonder if I can like sneak around his house and hide away from him. Nope. He's in full run mode. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get some food. Let's see if he gets angry. I'm afraid we sold everything. Oh my god. Is this gonna be one of those? Like, you, you just can't avoid him. He's just gonna... Wander around behind you. Oh man. He he does not he's not even fighting back. Oh I feel so shit. My god game. I guess I could just let my people die. There's a letter from Grandpa Bernard to Alan. We're happy to learn that you've come to like living with Auntie. The war's not that bad. It's not fun for, uh, it's just not fun for children. In fact, they say that it'll be over soon, so don't worry about us. Grandma is feeling better. She asked me not to tell you, but she's saving some flour to make you those cookies you like. And as for me, well, I promise you to repair the swing. Oh, I promise to you to repair the swing when I, when you're back. Damn it! Fucking game. Please don't take our things. Oh, this is gonna be... Fucking jewelry. How can you do this? Well... The technicalities of it are very easy. I'm even breathing heavily now. I it's just oh man. Everything I take just feels shit. Okay. Try this way. Let's try right here. Okay. See, is this side also locked? Let's just fucking leave. Oh my god, this game. I'm not gonna kill you. I'm just gonna steal all your sh stuff and leave you with fucking nothing. Oh, man. Ah, oh, fuck me. This is why I struggle playing games like this, guys. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. 
And there's the fucking cherry on the top. But, you know, I'm not keeping the PlayStation after this, so who knows, this might have changed uh, next time I play. But, um, yeah. We did manage to fend them off. We had shitloads of ammunition. We used most of it. Uh, we got tons of stuff from the old people's house. Um, somehow their house was still intact. And, um, you know, there wasn't much rubble or anything. But uh, they had a lot of other things. They had some water lying outside, and fertilizer. They had food and meds, some jewelry, some sugar. Oh my god. Uh. Fuck me. <laughs> I become way too um, engrossed in these games. You know, I, th I think about it, and I think about what would happen in real life. I mean, imagine if you did this in real life. You stole everything from an elderly couple during a war. You know, they would literally be fucked. Um, there would be nothing that they could do. This is probably the last food and uh, valuables that they own. Besides whatever's locked in the basement. And... Uh, I just took it from them. Man. I don't like the way this game makes me feel sometimes. You know, but I, I guess they, they're they trying to simulate that war feeling. Um, you know, the struggle, struggle of survival and survival of the fittest, you know. Do I sit there and allow my characters to die? Or do I take from other people and potentially allow them to die? And, you know, uh, I don't think this is going to be a happy ending, guys. Uh, I don't see a happy ending in this game's foreseeable future. But anyway, guys. Uh, if you've played this game and it affects you like it affects me, I'd like to hear about it in the comments. If my video affects you, uh, maybe we can discuss that in the comments. A lot of people don't seem to comment or anything yet on my videos, but uh, we'll see how it goes, you know. Anyway, uh, I've been Rob. This has been day 33 of this war of mine. You know, if you like my videos, give me a like, give me a subscribe. And uh, cheers, guys.